Returnees who've experienced trafficking in person and other types of exploitation face many challenges in their return and reintegration process. Upon return, many survivors struggle to become self-sufficient and often take on debt, making them vulnerable to re-trafficking and forced labor. Social alienation and stigmatization, along with feelings of shame, are commonplace among survivors of all genders. Psychological trauma affects many. Survivors' mental and physical health issues often multiply if they live in an environment with ongoing risks of domestic abuse. Family or community members are sometimes first contacts in the trafficking chain, complicating the survivor's pursuit of legal remedies. Traffickers may operate within government and community structures, hindering punitive actions. Supporting survivors of trafficking in their reintegration process requires verifying whether a survivor's return environment is safe from domestic abuse or violence, mapping service providers for health, education, vocational training and employment support to equip organizations supporting returning survivors with an understanding of available opportunities, empowering survivors by co-creating programs and needs-based solutions with their involvement and inputs, providing long-term psychological support and case management for survivors, and raising awareness of the difficulties they may face within their families and communities. Improving access to justice for all survivors. For more insights into how IOM contributes to the safe and sustainable reintegration of survivors of trafficking, visit the Return and Reintegration platform.